Hi, welcome to the shop. Today we have a... Um, I think most of the machinists out there know this problem. Most of us use these wiggler, wiggler type edge finders that consists of a top part, a bottom part and a spring in between that holds the parts together. And you're supposed to run them on about 500 to 800 RPM. Otherwise, the lower part snaps to the side and the spring breaks or gets um, bent. And that's what happened with these two edge finders. I have already taken them apart and here we can see the springs. This one got tweaked a little bit, got bent in a few spaces and the second spring of the second wiggler it just broke here. Um, I will try to get replacement springs for these and then I will rebuild them. Of course there are many ways to screw up an edge finder and um, as I did with this one I was using it this is a smaller one, a 6mm. Um, I was using it and I was running it against an edge and at the same time it ran up a, um, a sloped surface on the bottom. So I had the bottom the sliding out. surface between the two parts got, um, got tweaked, it, it seized or not really seized. If you move the two parts against each other you feel that there is kind of a burr or something like so, that. I will try to take it apart and um, refinish these surfaces between. So let's go. This shouldn't be too hard. Just pull this brass plug on the end out. Or maybe this one on the front. Hold it and unloop the brass cap. Then you let it go. The spring snaps back and you can pull it apart. In fact, as it looks, this spring also got a little hit, but I don't think this is a problem because in the middle area where the spring is tensioned there is no damage to it. We will see. For now we will take a look at these surfaces of these mating surfaces. I'll bring the camera in a bit. And there are some, some um, damages to the surface that came by... I have one of my Degusit ruby stones. I'll take some <clears throat> I will take some oil. I use um, a thin gun oil. Put it on the stone. And now I'm just going to hone it very, very easy on the stone. And now I'm going just to feel how they move onto each other. They are still not perfect, so I go a little bit more. Okay, these are the surf surfaces. Now we have um, lapped them on the stone. Um, I'm going to reassemble the edge finder and test it on the milling machine. Then we will see if my fix worked out. First we have to clean the two halves so no grit or um, dust is between when we put everything back together. Um, I'm using some spray loop 
This is like this is like um, WD-40, but um, cheaper. And it's good for cleaning parts, not so much for lubing parts. Um, this is the spring, this is the shank part. You push the spring with the shank through it. Then you take some um, Vaseline and put it on the sliding surface. That's what we used always for the edge finders at work and it's that worked pretty good. Just a little dab a do. Then the tricky part is you have to catch the spring. Then you put the part of it and hook in the top piece. I'm using a piece of baling wire. I'm pushing it through the top part. Then I'm making a small loop. Loop this through. Okay, that was easy. Then you push everything together. And you pull your spring out. Oh, here you can see you pull the spring out to the top, catch it with the finger, remove your loop, take your brass plug, put it back in place and let it snap together. And then you have reassembled your edge finder. And in fact this feels Oh. It feels a bit wonky. <laughs> I don't think this works out how it should. Okay, this is a simple test for the edge finder. I'm using a um, 20 millimeter gauge block. I'm putting it in the wires, staying, standing it up on a parallel. I'm going to clamp it. And then I'm going to touch off this edge and or this surface and this surface. And then I'm going to check if my DRO on the machine shows exactly 20 millimeters. If that's the case, my edge finder is, is accurate again after my um, after my repair. So let's try this. Snapped over. I'm going to zero my DRO and move over to the other side of the gauge block. There it snapped again. I'm turning off the spindle. So I touched off on this side, zeroed, moved over to this side and touched off again. Didn't zero. Um, the tip of the edge finder has a diameter of 6 mm and the gauge block is 20 mm so my DRO should show 26 millimeters. Let's check this on the screen. And we have on X 25.995. That's five thousandths of a millimeter below. And that's way better than you would ever expect from, from a edge finder. So I think my repair was successful and now I can use it again until I crash it the next time. And these are the parts from my bigger edge finders. 
One is a 10 millimeter with a 4 millimeter stem on the bottom and one is just a straight 10 millimeter edge finder. I will try to get um, some of these springs so I can repair those two. But for now, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.